Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Teresa T for Two. I'm back with my review of Waffle Comb. And I hope that you guys can hear me okay because it is the 4th of July and the fireworks have basically been going off all day today. So there was like really no good time for me to try to film. But obviously it's starting to get dark now. So of course the noise is picking up. <laughs> so I hope that you guys can still hear me okay. Uh, but anyway, um, I have now burned my waffle cone candle past the halfway mark and I just wanted to give you my opinion of it and my review of it. Um, they did have the full Polaroid collection already out in my stores a few days ago. They had like the new boardwalk, the campfire donut, the um, pool party, which smells really nice. They had all of those. And they also have all the fall candles out as well. So they have like leaves and a hot cocoa and cream, which has a really, really pretty label on it. I really like that one. So they had all the fall candles out, the whole Polaroid collection, everything. But of course, they're not on sale yet. Uh, they're all full price. But I was talking to one of the associates, <clears throat> excuse me, and she said that possibly there might be a sale this Friday and over the weekend, but that it would only be like $10 off. So it's not like $12.95 or half off, that it would only be 10 off, but then you would have like a 10 off 30 coupon that maybe you can work with that and hopefully maybe still get a good deal on some candles. So I don't know, I'll be, I'll be keeping my eyes open because I, like I said, I would like to pick up like the cherry snow cone one and the, um, I might even get a boardwalk one and the hot cocoa and cream. Like I said, the label was super cute on that one and I love that scent, so. But on to my review of Waffle Cone. And then also just one more little snippet. I have to say, when I went into the Bath & Body Works, they had <clears throat> a scent oil burning in the store of Waffle Cone. And I could distinctly and very strongly smell that berry scent. And it was so good. And I asked them, I was like, do you guys sell the oil or... Do you have a wallflower of the waffle cone? Um, because maybe it would smell the same as the oil that they're burning in the store. And they said, not yet. They don't know if waffle cone is going to come out in a wallflower. So I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for that this weekend also. Because they said if, if they are, they may possibly get some in this weekend. Because I'm telling you guys, that scent oil that they had burning in the store smelled so good. Like a huckleberry muffin or something. It was so good. And in this candle, I'm sticking to my original first impression that I don't really pick up a lot of the berry scent. It's just mostly a heavy bakery scent. So, yeah. So I'm really hoping that they come out with a wallflower in this so I can try that out. But anyway, let me go ahead and tell you what I think of this. This is a repackage of Berry Waffle Comb that has been out before. The scent notes are the exact same. Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. And here's the batch number and so forth. And basically all, all the Waffle Cone candles in the whole store all had the same batch number. They were all A10s. So there was no different batch numbers. They were all A10. And you can see that I have burned it past the halfway mark. There, there is some residue on the glass. It is like a nice yellow colored wax. And you can see where, you know, how deep I had the wax pool on this last most recent burn. But the wax didn't really discolor too badly. And I'll show you the inside. Yeah, it's a nice yellow wax and it didn't really discolor very badly at all. And the wicks were very strong. This candle burnt very hot. The flames were very strong and very high and I kept the wicks trimmed and I don't have any soot whatsoever. And just though this last burn though, the wicks seemed like they were maybe getting a little puny. So just, just to be on the safe side, I just I did take just one cotton ball and just sink it in there for a moment and they the flames came right back up. So I wouldn't say I actually had to cotton ball it, but I just did and I only did one cotton ball. And yeah, the burn was really nice on it. I didn't have any issues with the burn. Like I said, it's just that most recent burn, which was this evening. I just did one cotton ball. So yeah, burnt pretty good. Um, I did not get the kerosene scent. Uh, that has not occurred yet. Now what I do smell, and this is with all Bath & Body Works candles, even in the beginning, my nose is kind of sensitive to like that burning wick smell. Um, I don't notice it as much on my Yankee candles, but on the Bath & Body Works candles, it does have that kind of distinct 
um, burning wick type scent, but it's not, it's not terrible. And I definitely don't smell like kerosene or anything like that. So I definitely did not get the kerosene scent. Um, I'm, like I said, I still feel the same as my first impression that what I get out of this is mostly just like a heavy bakery, like a zucchini bread uh, that baked in the oven and you just taken it out. Uh, I do still get that hint of spice. When I first lit this candle, the throw was like a 9 out of 10. It was blowing me out of the living room. I mean, I could smell it all the way to my bedroom. It was really strong. But as, the, as it got to the halfway point, uh, it did settle down to maybe, instead of like a 9 out of 10, I would say it was uh, stayed at uh, like a steady 7 and sometimes an 8 uh, for throw. But um, it was still a very good throw. I could still smell it throughout my whole kitchen and living room. But, uh, but that, yeah, that first, <laughs> that first burn packed a punch, let me tell you. And uh, the scent appeal on this, the more I burned it, the more I did like it. So I am going to get a few more or a couple more uh, backups of this when they go on sale because I do actually like it. Uh, I do like bakery, and this is a very nice, um, heavy, rich bakery scent. And, you know, it's just a shame that I don't get more of the berry, but... Uh, you do pick up a little bit of it, but it is still a very nice scent. And I was actually burning, I burned a couple of things with this. I had this candle burning and I put in a square of my Goose Creek Strawberry Jam wax and my wax melter. So I had those going together. It smelled so good together. Then I took a, I had a votive. It's a Yankee Berrylicious votive. And I cut those in half and melt them in my warmers. So I did that with this candle and they smelt heavenly together so this candle is very nice on its own but it really does work well with blending with other scents so yeah i'll definitely be getting a couple more of these and i do like it i, I like i said the more i burnt it the more i liked it and i do recommend it and you know like i said i didn't have any issues with the burn there's just a little residue on the glass and so far so good no kerosene smell we are past the halfway mark so I think the rest of the burn will be just fine on this candle and yeah if you guys have gotten your hands on the waffle cone and have burned it I'd love to know what your thoughts are and how you're you know if you had success burning it as well and uh, what you think of this of the scent you know do you pick up any berry in yours um, do you have any different batch numbers because like I said all the ones in my store were all A10s so yeah I'm very curious to see if anyone else has had experience with this candle yet and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a safe evening. Take care. Bye-bye.